What's up party people? My name is Daryl and today I'm going to show you all how to add a downloadable link to anywhere you want on the internet or also on your WordPress website. So this is an example of what you can expect to learn in this video. So right here, if I click on this button right here, you're going to see that on the bottom left, there is a file that's already downloaded and the user doesn't have to do anything whatsoever. Now I'm also going to show you how to do this with Amazon AWS if you are interested as well. So for example, right here, you guys have seen my videos on how to make websites with Divi. We have this little link right here of uh, downloading demo images. And if a user clicks on this right here, it's going to automatically download for them. So you can put this on any part of any website you want on Facebook, wherever you want to put it. So I'm going to go ahead and go in detail on both ways in case you don't want to use one or the other. So the first thing that you'll do is go to your WordPress dashboard and you're going to have to upload the file. Now, if you're using WordPress, you're going to have to add it as a zip folder. So right here under media, you'll click on add new. And then right here, you'll select the file and click on open. So now it's uploading that file. And then once you're done, you can click on edits. And it's going to give you a specific URL right here. So file URL, you'll go ahead and copy that. And then you just go back to your website and paste it anywhere you want. So what I'll do right here, I'll scroll up on this demo website. I'll add it right here. So right here, if I click on it, you can see on the bottom left that it's a dead link. So I'll go ahead and click on edit with Elementor. All right. So this button right here, I'll go ahead and paste that link right there. So you can see paddywhack.zip and I'll click on update. Okay. Now right here, if I hover over it, you'll see that the zip file on the bottom left can be downloaded. I will click on it and there you go. So now it's downloading that specific folder. Now I'm also going to give you a second method in case you want people to download something else like a JPEG or whatever you want to do. All right, cool. So I showed you all how to use WordPress to add downloadable files. Now let's go ahead and use Amazon cloud hosting, which is Amazon AWS to add downloadable links to anywhere on the internet, including your WordPress website. So the first thing you'll do is go to Amazon AWS and you'll make an account. So go through the process, go have fun, you know, email verification, all that fun stuff. Once you're done with that, you'll be brought to your dashboard. So this is the, the Amazon AWS management console. I know this stuff seems a little complicated, but all you need to do is go over here to storage and you're going to find S3. So go ahead and click on S3. Now you can see right here, I have various buckets that I use that people can download files from. The first thing you'll do is go over here and click on create bucket and go ahead and give your bucket a name. So I'm going to do something like a uh, Patty Whackers. And for the region, you'll go ahead and select the region closest to you right here, which says block all public access. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that. Now, right here, I want to acknowledge that some of these files may become public. And then right here, I will click on create bucket. Okay. So you can see here that a tutorial paddywhack or I'm sorry, paddy whackers has been uh, created and the access can be public. So right here, click on paddy whackers or I'm sorry, your, your folder, whatever you created. And right here, you'll click on upload. So simply go ahead and upload the file that you want users to download. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing that I did before. Here's the file. I will click on next. So right here, it's saying do not grant public read access to this object, which is recommended. I want to go ahead and grant public access, read access to this object. So right now it's saying everyone in the world, they can access this object or file right here. Click on next and leave this storage class as standard and click on next and go to upload. There we go. So on the bottom right here, you can see how it's uploading to the server. All right, cool. So this is the file that I have uploaded. Now guys, this stuff updates and changes like every few months. So I'll do my best to keep this video updated as much as possible. But right here, you'll click on the folder. And this is the object URL. Now, right here, you'll click on make public. So now it is officially public. So if I take this file and go ahead and copy it just by putting it in the search engine like this right here. And if I press enter, 
you're gonna see that it's downloading. So what you can do is take this and put it on any part of any website in the world or anywhere where you want users to download. That includes email campaigns as well. So let's go back to our website right here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add it to, uh, we'll add it to this button right here. So you can see here on the bottom left, this is a dead link. And I will add this inside and I'll click on updates. And by simply clicking on this button, you'll see that it's connected and you can even see the address is coming from Amazon AWS. So that's how you can add this file to anywhere on the internet. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions or you want to know anything else about Amazon. Uh, it's an amazing service. I don't even know how they have the ability to host all of that stuff. So um, it's an amazing service. And with that, you can add links to anywhere on the internet. My name is Daryl Wilson, and I will see all of you guys in the next video.